You know, men and women are wired differently in so many different ways, and one of the ways that sometimes escapes a woman's notice, in fact, I was really kind of ignorant of, about this for many, many years, is a man's need for companionship, specifically for your companionship, specifically for a female's presence, and hopefully that female would be you and not some other woman. You know, this was made evident way back at the dawn of time, the way back at the beginning of creation. In Genesis 2.18, God said, It's not good for man to be alone. I will create a helper suitable for him. Yeah, way back then, God said, It's not good for man to be alone. He needs some companionship. And you are that companion. It, this is the thing. Sometimes we feel like, you know, our husband isn't, uh, you know, sitting there talking with us about all of his deep feelings and he isn't really wanting to just hear every little nuance of our day and just doesn't want to really talk to us. But here's something I've discovered. If you will do something with your guy, if you will hang out with him, maybe join him in his hobby or, or go bicycling with him or whatever, often your guy will start talking to you when you're just hanging out with him, when you're just doing something together. Women, we can just sit there side by side and do absolutely nothing but talk. That can be the activity. For men, not so much. They need your companionship, and while you're spending time with them, that's often when you'll have a conversation, even if it's driving down the road together, or golfing together, or bowling together, or riding bikes together, or maybe it's simply going to the home improvement store together. Yes, my husband likes me to go to the home improvement store with him. Is that one of my favorite things to do? Not so much. But he likes my companionship. How about your guy? Does he ask you to go to the home improvement store with, with him and do you turn him down because you're just too busy? Does he actually, you know, actually ask you to go golfing with him and you say, oh, that's not my cup of tea? Does he ask you to come out to the garage and see what he's doing tinkering on that old car he's fixing up and you say, oh, I'm kind of busy? He wants to be with you. He's asking you to come join him and do something with him. And again, the bonus for you is as you're joining him and becoming his companion, he will often end up talking to you. Is that music to your ears or what?